Oh, be real, says Jonathan. How do you know if a man is not over an X? Or better yet, how do you know a man is over an X? How do you know somebody is over their X? Well, here's how we know that they're not over their X is because they constantly are talking about their ex. Okay, so I have a personal share. Um, I was in a significant relationship with a woman for three and a half years. I, I, was, I was very attached to her. I, I felt like it was love. And I say felt like it was love because I don't think I was really in a good place when I met her. So I was experiencing love attachment and maybe not true love. Now, let me just say this. I, I did treat her like I loved her from a from that perspective. I thought I was healthy, but I really wasn't. OK, so when our relationship ended, God, I look back now. I think for a year, all I did anytime I dated was talk about her. I mean, seriously, for one year, anytime I was dating, I was talking about her incessantly. <laughs> now, I had a couple women who liked me enough to want to, to see me even in my dysfunction here. But I, I mean, the, the thing is, if they're constantly talking about their ex, maybe they're talking about how their ex hurt them emotionally. Maybe they're throwing their ex under the bus. Maybe they, and by the way, you have to listen to their tonality because a lot of it was, you could literally tell, even though I was throwing my ex-girlfriend under the bus, my totality, my tonality was you could tell I was deeply still in love with her. I didn't see it at the time. I was blind to it. I thought I was just being radically honest with someone. And the truth is I was being radically honest. What was underneath the radical honesty was actually attachment, was I wasn't over her. So sure enough, what happened was we got back together. That lasted for a few months. We broke up again. Uh, that lasted for a few months. We got back together and that lasted for about six months. All of this happened within a six year period of time. Um, um, I, well, I can't remember the second time I think we were together five or six months. And the third, the last time was six or seven months, something like seven, eight months, something like that. And then finally, the actually how I got over her was she met someone rather quickly. They began a relationship and it basically forced me to get over my ex. I be, I think I was going to be hung up for another year after that. So the fact that she met someone quickly, I'm actually grateful she met David. Uh, my ex-girlfriend met David. Actually, uh, since she and I are family to one another now, I'm, I'm family to him. He and I play golf together on occasion. And I am so grateful they're together because I was able to get over her because she got involved with someone else. Otherwise, it'd probably be a full year or two uh, before I was. But actually, in my case, um, six months after my relationship ended, my mother passed away. And then six months after that, Connor passed away. There's a picture of Connor. Isn't he cute there? Aww. Um, through my grief, I was able to really through my grief, I was able to pour my heart out into writing my book. I, if you haven't ordered my book, I highly recommend check out the link in the description to get my book. It was through that cathartic experience that I was not only able to lean into the deeper meaning of love in myself, but I was able to let go of a relationship while she's a fantastic person. We just weren't meant to go the distance. And so coming back to your question, um, it's if a guy talks about his ex incessantly, that's a good clue. He's not over his ex. Thank you so much, Be Real, for your question. I really appreciate that. All right.